Hello and welcome back to LDF Designs. In today's video I'm going to be working on this 10 by 10 cradled panel. This is actually a panel made by encaustic board uh, ampersand. It's an encaustic board panel and I have prepped this panel by using some drywall compound and some concrete and mixed that up and um, used that to attach my metal pieces let all of that dry and I went ahead and used some gouache paint to add some color to this bottom layer. I knew it was going to be a little challenging working with the encaustic underneath the metal and it did prove to be challenging um, but I went ahead and made that work. So right now I'm just laying down my base layers and this key kind of kept getting in my way so I decided to go ahead and wire it up and attach it so that it wouldn't dangle into the wet wax. Now with that secured and, and out of my way, I was able to get at that area a little bit easier without having that key constantly touching the warm wax and causing dents and getting wax all over it. Uh, I'm still using basically three colors of wax. I'm using clear wax, white wax, and then I have a cerulean gray that I'm using that's made by uh, RNF Paints, RNF Encaustic. And so just using those three colors on top of the colors that I already created with the gouache paints. If you're not familiar with the gouache paints, they are a water, they are a type of watercolor based paint, which is why they work well underneath the encaustic. Um, generally speaking, encaustic does not like uh, an acrylic base and also you have to be a little bit cautious when you're putting it over oil paints. Usually you want to put oil paints on top of it, not so much under it. So I like to use watercolor based paints when I use them underneath the encaustic. At this point I went ahead and was using some of my tar mixture to add some um, color and depth on the surface of all of that texture that I just created. And I've said before, if you've been in any of my previous videos, um, I do use vegetable oil as my blending medium. And that's what's in the uh, little um, bowl down there. And then I also have a little bit of that mixed in with that tar. I think one of the reasons why I like to use the neutral colors often in the clear and caustic is that I don't have to worry about covering up my base layers as much. I struggle sometimes uh, as an artist to cover up those early layers that I work on. And I hear a lot of artists talk about that when I watch them. Um, some, some find it a little easier than others to just kind of cover up those early layers and some are comfortable kind of scraping back to get to them. Um, it's just something that I haven't done a lot of, probably should practice it a little bit more, but I think it's why I'm drawn to the clear and caustic so much. I don't have to worry about covering things up that I created or working in the, around them. So um, I don't know, what are you guys' opinions on that? Do you like to cover up your early layers or do you find yourself working around areas that you created? I did like some of those neutral tones that I created with the darker blues and, and oranges and earthy tone colors. So 
um, again just didn't really want to cover those up so I only had a very limited areas in which I could apply more encaustic and so just found myself struggling a little bit mentally it may not seem so on the video but um, as I was thinking through this process just kind of struggling on where to put the texture and what to do to it with this piece because I decided to use some color with it. I liked applying the tar on this and I think it was a great color for it but I did feel like it kind of dulled the painting a little bit so I struggled and kind of kept going back and forth between adding a little bit of white and then adding the tar. At this point I had generated a little bit of, um, they call it asemic writing, it's kind of a fake script if you will and I liked how it looked and decided I wanted to run that down the whole edge of the piece so right now that's just what I'm working on. I will have pictures of this piece as usual over on my Instagram page and you'll be able to see some more finer details of the piece. Um, once I do get it finished here on camera I did go back and do some more things to it off camera um, to finish it up so um, as I continue working on it here just know that you can see some of the pictures of the finished piece over on my Instagram or my Facebook page. You'll probably notice that I tend to use some of the same materials. I, I kind of use them for a few weeks and then I pull some different things out and use those things for a few weeks. Um, so once again, I am using this PH Dr. Martin, I believe it's called, and it is um, an ink and it's a metallic ink. And I was just trying to add a little shimmer to it. Again, I was just going back and forth the whole time between wanting to add more white and then adding a little more uh, of the tar and back and forth I went. So like I mentioned, once I get it done here on camera, I did go back and add some more white to it and um, spruced up the colors just a little bit by adding some pan pastel to those areas that I wanted to um, make a little more bright. That's just about going to wrap this video up for today. Um, once again, you will see some finished photos of this on my Facebook and Instagram. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you around the next time.